Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Marauder X here, back with more Let's Play Shining Force 3, Scenario 3. Uh, I'm really getting tired of this fight. I think I've... I'm not sure if I've screwed up the AI for this, or if the AI is screwed up because of the patch that I'm using. I don't know. But, this ruin is providing to be a pain in the ass. So, I'm supposed to se send someone over to destroy that barrel, which I did, so that the thief can get that treasure. And then I'm supposed to send someone over to destroy those two barrels, the southernmost, it says the southernmost, wait, technically that would be those two, so maybe I destroyed the wrong barrels, we'll find out, I'll try these two. Because everything uh, acclimates based off of the standard. Standard orientation of the camera, so I may have just been attacking the wrong barrels. We'll find out. But as it was, the AI for the thief was skipping one of the locked treasure chests to go open an unlocked treasure chest, one that I can open on my own. See those. those kind of more reddish treasure chests, I can't open those. I don't have a thief class in which to open them. So I can't really do anything there. So what I need to do is I'm sending, I'm going to send that force over to deal with those, and then I'm going to just stay a little bit ahead of him to deal with the uh, the thieves so that I can block him and kill him at my leisure to get all the treasure chests. I'm trying a different strategy this time to see if it works. I don't know, but I've, I've not been able to get him to actually open the treasure chest he needs to open. So... Alright, we'll kill the Barasol soldier. And then we're going to make sure not to progress too far forward, because if we trigger Edmund, he will start attacking us. Axis, stop it. You're... Lay down. Behave. Or not. I don't care. Just, you can't get up on my, my desk. So, if we trigger him, he will start inching toward us, and then he will just make a straight beeline for us, and we want to avoid that. So, now we are back in the ruins to see if this plan pays off. And I'm, like I said, I'm going to stay just far enough ahead of him to where I might be able to get some use. And we're going to use Honesty to get that potion. Keep my ranged units out front. We're going to send Donhort and Cyclops over to deal with that red dragon, because we want that red dragon to join us as well. That could also be a part of it. I could, because I already have a red dra or a green dragon, if I kill the other dragon, might might futz it up a little bit. So I'm going to edit this out, and I'll be back in just a second, in which we will deal with... Uh, the ruins. So, be back momentarily. Alright, let's see what the thief's AI does now. Nope, I'm still too far ahead of him, so I've got to move my force back a little bit. He won't move forward, and that may have, that may also be the cause. It could be that I'm too far ahead of him, the AI sees that it's not possible to get the items that it's supposed to get, so it, it just does its own little thing. That dragon is just staying where he's at, which is fine. Alright, let's see how it works on the next turn. Alright, what happens now? What is the thief going to do? He goes to the other treasure chest. So now we're just going to inch 
forward. Attack with Don Hort, take him out. Don't kill him. There you go. And he's paralyzed, so I can actually just kind of leave him... Leave him be, really. I'm not gonna. Well, I will. Now, we'll go ahead and take him out. I mean, he could be part of the scripting that's causing the thief to ignore the treasure chest. I don't know. It's hard to say. But in doing so, that level Cyclops up to 15 and gives us another dragon ally. I mean, like I said, this could be part of it is the, the dragon ally. But I mean, he, won't, he shouldn't kick in until the next battle is the thing. See if that's too much for our little thief friend. Alright, what does Mr. Thief do? Is he going to go for the treasure chest? Please go for the treasure chest. No, he freaking bypasses it again. Fine. Yes, Axis, we're just going to say to hell with him. And we're going to lightning to him. So, the treasure chest that I'm getting tired of trying to get now, I'm, I'm just done with it. It's a hope light. It restores all MP, and I'm done with it. I'm, I've tried this fight three times now, and he's just... He's ignoring it. And I don't know why he's ignoring it, but he is. So, I'm going to send... one of my flyers over to get the other treasure chest and I'm just I'm gonna be done with this uh, it's this is getting ridiculous his AI is he's ignoring a a locked treasure chest try to go after an unlocked treasure chest. So I'm just going to block him in now. And I'm going to see, maybe he'll go for the locked one. I doubt it, though. He'll probably go for an attack. And Mystery Thief's AI goes for... running away. So he's going to try to go for the other exit. But, see, yeah, this one cannot be opened. Let's see. Thousand... Thousand has I'll open that with honesty. So that's a dark matter. And yeah, he's just not gonna He's not gonna do anything now. He's just gonna just try to run. Which is fine. But if we go over here and we try to inspect Thousand can't open the chest. It's not one that we can open. It has to be opened by a thief, and that's the hope light. So I just I I can't do anything about it. So we'll see what he does in the next turn, and then we'll just kill him and end it there. Alright, I said to hell with it. And I just left. I killed him and left the ruins. Uh, Hope Light is not worth this much hassle. Uh, I don't know what can be done to get the Hope Light. If you guys know a different strategy, post it in the video as a, a comment, and I'll go from there. But as it is, that was that was the most dick ruins I've ever had to deal with because the AI was just stupid. He bypassed a locked treasure chest to go for an unlocked treasure chest. That's just... That's asinine, to say the least. But we have attracted the attention of... One of the masked mages. So now I need to do a little bit of healing on that force. Which is fine. 
But I haven't triggered Edmund himself. So that's good. But, with as strong as this force is, I really can just kind of go through and... do a, a, a straight hit. There's... Uh, yeah, we're gonna do that. Like, I can, I can really just rush into this force and be fine. Edmund is a, a threat. The mage's kind of a threat, not as much as you would think. And that'll trigger Edmund. Because I've now hit Edmund, whose sprite, his battle sprite is just silly looking. Look at him. And he takes 40 damage from that, leveling Bridget up to 15. The Julian Army, you're happy to meet a strong opponent, okay. I'm also a man whom Imperial Armies feared as a Republican general. If you plan to head to- okay, so you have a really misguided sense of what the hell ever. Yeah, your sprite's just silly looking. I'm so glad I didn't pick you. But he does have the rapier that I wanted for Median in Scenario 2. He does have the cool uh, I Recover MP rapier. Queen B? Multi hits damage going on with our good friend Honesty. And I can go through and just start picking out I, I can I can take out Edmund in a heartbeat at this point. But I kinda well kinda don't want to. Because I want to get the XP for killing the other guys, but this fight's also been ridiculously annoying, so yeah, we're we're just gonna start attacking. And Raleigh levels up to 15. Mazel tov to Raleigh. Yeah, you guys are not okay. And you're going after Gracia. Makes perfect sense to me. Who dodged like a boss? Um, he's already 15. He does not need to get a kill strike on a major boss. Uh, this won't kill him, but it'll be funny. Well, let's let's attack the Pegasus Knight. We're just on the off chance it would kill him. Yeah, that would have killed him. And while I should have no qualms taking out uh, an enemy general with one of my generals, like I said, I kind of want to maximize some some of the XP gain here. And who are you attacking? You're you're using Tornado again. Well, to be fair, it's a free attack. It costs nothing because he gets the MP back. But it also, being a free attack, means he does no damage. And Bridget's kind of useless. Uh, who all's injured before I start spouting off special attacks like that? Uh, we'll use Aura 1. There we go! Uh, 
I mean, because I had to edit out a good chunk of this video, it's, uh, I've got plenty of time to finish this and deal with the story at the end of the fight. I just, I kind of want, you know, again, to maximize some XP gain, make it worthwhile for the rest of my force to be here doing what it is they're doing, especially since I did not get that one item. I'm really pissed off that I can't get that item. I don't know what it is that I... It, more than likely, it's when I... Uh... got too far ahead of the thief and caused him to stop moving. It threw, I guess it threw off his program. And Don Horde's 15. Uh, Kate should be close to 15 as well. So I'll get the kill strike on the Pegasus Knight, and that should level her up. And then I'll kill Edmund. There's, there's no sense in drawing this out any longer than it already is. I'm just... And Julian will get the kill strike on Edmund. Yes! Can't be utterly destroyed, but... We also found a magic rapier. Ever since I was tricked by Imperial General Garzel, I've seemed to have been looking for a place to die. And... Oh, that doesn't end the fight! I still have bad guys to kill, that's actually really good! So that means I'll have to stop this fight before I... Uh, before I kill the, the boss, which is the other masked, other masked monk. But that also means that I still get the XP from all this, which is... Hey, I'm... I'm happy for. I probably shouldn't send you that far in on your own. That's just... Because the other boss is that one. So yeah. And you really can't do anything else because you've exhausted all of your MP casting spark levels in. But I can cast Blaze level 1 on you, so hey, whatever works, works. And silly Barisol soldier going after the great General Proton. You have no idea who you're messing with, do you, sir? You're dealing with a giant white dragon who can bitch slap you into next Thursday. Kill the Barisol soldier, please. I need to send Leon over to deal with that, uh, Minotaur. Leon can handle Minotaurs like it's nobody's freaking business. Ouch! I was expecting that, though. It was... That was about the damage that, uh, I was expecting Cyclops to sustain. I can't wait to get rid of that green dragon. Cannot wait. Uh, da, da 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 I don't have enough MP to do much of anything. Let's see. Aim for them. That'll work. That'll hit two of the people that got struck by lightning, so... And Proton! Proton, I didn't realize Proton was hurt too, but I should have, because he got attacked by a Barisol soldier. And attack from a distance. Spell virus. Fantastic use of spell virus. And by fantastic, I mean that was stupid. I about to say, it's about time for him to start coming into it and trying to beat the crap out of me. But apparently not. So... 
let's heal our good buddy Cyclops. Fantastic, Cyclops, and we'll send Leon over. Uh, to finish off the Minotaur. Because Cyclops won't kill him, but it'll hurt him. Oh my god! Not what I was expecting. At all. And for shits and giggles, we're gonna play with slow. Slow level 1 is an AoE. What's slow level 2? Oh my god, slow level 2 is awesome! We don't need to use it, but... Slow level 1. Defense and agility are decreased. What are you doing? Oh, you got in my way! Now I can't attack the Minotaur! But I can attack you! And I'm going to attack you! Yeah, attack Cyclops again, that's fine. I've got a healer stationed next to him, you're... You're pissing into the wind here, Sonny Jim Bob. Alright, who's still level 14? I mean, we've got time, let's take our time. Leon and Proton are both my level 14. So I'll have Proton kill the masked mage, and Leon will kill the other two guys, and that should, uh, should catch us up. So yeah, I'll probably I'll go ahead and end this episode here because I'm just gonna be positioning. Well, I'm gonna be positioning people strategically to kill the people that need to die. And we'll get an attack in. Yeah, Proton should have no problem killing that mass. And now I see their plan. They're going after my heal. Well, you're a dick, aren't you, good sir? Uh, not doing anything with you. Or you. You're gonna attack Julian, which that was expected. That's why I put Julian over there. Critical hit for a decent chunk of damage. Alright, kill him. Level up. Thank you. Alright, so yeah, I'll go into this episode here, and the next installment I will, uh, I'll finish this fight off by killing everything. So I'll see you guys then. Till then, later everyone.